Kelly Rutherford and her ex-husband. The devastated actress losing another round in court yesterday. She was trying to get a judge to return her three and five year old children to the United States rather than having them remain in France with her ex. We'll talk to her in an exclusive live interview in a moment. But first, the latest from ABC's Tanya Rivera. Hi, this is Lily. Actress Kelly Rutherford is seen here back at work on the New York set of Gossip Girl, her first appearance since the heartbreaking custody ruling keeping her children 6,000 miles away. On the show, she plays a posh and polished oh, mom oh, who rarely God. loses her cool. Nothing ruins a family reputation faster than a money fight. But behind the scenes, the three-year fight with her ex-husband, Daniel Garish, over custody of their two children, ages three and five, is reportedly crushing her. On Tuesday, a judge ordered the children remain in France with their father, who they've been visiting over the summer. Friday, Rutherford asked the judge for a stay, which would have brought the kids back to New York while she appealed. But the stay was denied, destroying her last hope of getting the children back before school. Garish is a European citizen who can no longer enter the U.S. since his visa was revoked. So the judge ruled in order to maintain a 50-50 caretaking split, the children must stay in France with him and Rutherford travel back and forth to see them. At the end of the day, this is a well-reasoned decision by Judge Baudet, which essentially continues the existing parenting plan. Garish is not commenting on the legal battles, but released a statement through his lawyer saying he is focused on co-parenting the children and continuing to promote any and all contact of the children with Kelly. But Rutherford's lawyers say the legal fight will continue and they will appeal. But for now, her children will begin school in France on Monday. For Good Morning America, Tanya Rivero, ABC News, New York. And actress mm -hmm. Kelly Rutherford joins us now. Kelly, thanks very much for taking the time. I know this has got to be a very difficult uh, time for you. I have uh, spoken publicly on Good Morning America on Thursday. I said I view this opinion as an outrage. Yeah. Uh, were you stunned at the ruling? Yes, Dan. I'm. I'm still stunned. I'm. I'm still. Um, I'm a bit shocked by the whole thing. Yeah. Have you had a chance to talk to your children um, since the ruling? I have. I skyped with them the other day. Um, I skype with them every day. Um, yeah, so I've been talking to them on the phone and Skyping. And you had been hoping to start them in school in New York next week. Well, my son has been here in New York. They've both been raised in New York. They're U.S. citizens. They were supposed to start, um, yeah, Tuesday in school here. It's my son's fourth year in school at the Lycee. And did you get an opportunity to explain mm -hmm. anything to them? How is that, that going to work in terms of what the children will know about uh, particularly the older one who's five, about where he's going to be living. Yeah, I th I, no, I haven't. Um, I mean, they went away for the summer to visit their dad, and now all of a sudden they're starting school in France. So it's, it's I think, a shock to everyone. What is your relationship like now uh, with your ex? You know, um, it, it's hard because he's, uh, I don't know much about him. Um, you know, these immigration issues are an example. You know, he has immigration issues, only he can tell us about them, and he refuses to do so. So. It's so a lot of things that I really don't know about him. What are you most concerned about? Um, not seeing my kids as often. I mean, I, they lived with me and I saw them every day. I've, I had never spent a night away from them in my life until all of this started happening. So I'm concerned for them emotionally um, is, is my priority. And I'm obviously just trying to deal with it and, and obviously appeal it and, and um, understand it, why it happened. Are you going to be able to travel to France regularly? I mean, you've got a, a difficult uh, job. Are you going to be able to, to make the trip on a regular basis? Well, that's what's so confusing about this 50-50 setup. I mean, maybe, I mean I'm mean i all for 50-50 and all for um, children having a mother and father and co-parenting. It's just that the way it's set up now, I do. I'm a working mother. I'm, I've been the sole support of my children their entire life. So lives and I have a job. So I mean, I'm going to do my best to be there. Obviously, every chance I get, but I can't just be there on a regular basis when I have to work. And uh, I mean, I can't just pick up and <laughs> go, you know, the, that easily. The judge suggested in her ruling that this was almost part of a grand plan. Mm -hmm. You had sent um, the the kids to a French school. You had taught them French, and as right. a result, that this wouldn't be that shocking a difference for them. Well, if, if I had thought trying to give my children the best education possible was a part of a scheme to 
deport two U.S. citizens to a father who I don't know much about, then I certainly would have would have thought of things differently. I was doing my best to promote the relationship with their father because he is European and promote a European education while being raised in the United States. You know, they're you as citizens, so. His side has suggested that you're responsible for yeah. him getting deported. Yeah. True? Uh, no, I mean, I've, I haven't done anything personally to, to have him deported. It doesn't, it doesn't benefit me in any way to have him out of the country or the children. What's next uh, yeah. for you in this, in this battle? Now we're obviously going to appeal it. You know, Dan, I will never stop fighting for my children. Um, they're my babies and they're very young and this is going to affect them profoundly. Um, and I, I want to be there as much as I can to show them that, that this isn't my fault, this isn't something I wanted, and that's my concern. Anything you regret about the way that this has transpired? Anything you would have done differently? You know, I went into this very peacefully, and I was pregnant when this all started, so I did not expect all of this. I mean, I... I I had hoped this would be peaceful. I think it's always in the best interest of kids to have two parents that can keep their own issues aside and do what's in the best interest of their kids. I mean, these are their formative years. This is a very important time. Kelly Rutherford, thanks very much for taking the time. Uh, I, I think that uh, an appeals court should step in and yeah. overturn this. As I've said, uh, we, shall, uh, we shall see. Thank you Appreciate so much. Appreciate you taking the time.